Welcome to the overview of the Panasonic AC8 Full HD shoulder mount camcorder. This camera has a 21 times lens and produces a 1080 50p picture. I decided to take the camera over to a colleague of mine, Graham at Viewpoint Video Productions. Tell me Graham, I know you've not done anything on this camera yet, but straight out of the box, what's your first thoughts? Um, first thoughts, it looks the part, it looks the business. Sits comfortable on your shoulder. A good feel about it. But uh, obviously the proof's in the pudding, so I'll know more once I get a wee, a wee play about it. Um, at the moment I use Panasonic cameras, I've recently moved over to Panasonic uh, from a, a, another brand uh, and I film all types of live events, weddings, uh, shows, some corporate work, just a, a mixed bag. And how long have you had Panasonic? Uh, I had Panasonic when I started at first, uh, which was 10-11 years ago and I've recently went back to Panasonic uh, in the earlier part of this year. Having had the camera for two or three days, you played about with it, what's your thoughts? Um, very close as far as colours are concerned, uh, picture quality, uh, that sort of thing, very good. Um, but you'd expect that from, from, from Panasonic, all their cameras seem to be fairly well matched as far as colours are concerned. Some people might be worried about jumping to shoulder mount cameras because of the excessive weight of a lot of shoulder mount cameras, but there isn't an issue with weight as far as that's concerned because this particular camera, albeit shoulder mount, is quite a lightweight camera. So if you wanted to, to try out a shoulder mount and, and this was your first your first stab at it, then it would be, I think it would tick the boxes. How did you find the menu system compared to your mounting? Uh, no, no problem at all. The, the menu system on the 90 and the menu system on the, the AC8 uh, are the same. Uh, it's not too dissimilar from the 130 either, so if you know your way about one, it's very, very quick and easy to get your way about that one as well. So, yeah, it's fine. You had an interesting incident with, with one of the public while you were filming in the park. Uh, yeah, I was just doing some random filming, just capturing shots of uh, the, the, the surroundings and there was a, a chap out with his dog uh, and he stopped me to ask what I was filming and if I was filming it for TV or, or you know, gen just generally inquiring as to what I was doing. And logically, uh, after the conversation had went on a wee bit, it, it transpired that because of the look of the camera, he, he thought this was a, a kind of TV style thing. So obviously it's uh, the, the, the design of the camera and the look of the camera um, certainly looks far more advanced and far more expensive than it probably is going to turn out to be. For the second lot of test footage I decided to film indoors with a couple of lights bounced off the ceiling and the camera set between 0dB and 3dB.
just as another aside, all I'm actually doing here is I'm just adjusting the iris when needed. Apart from that, it's doing its own focusing and uh, everything else and it copes really well. It doesn't hunt, um, which is a major bonus. It's actually quite nice to use a shoulder mount camcorder after quite a while of not using one. You do get a better balance and uh, the nice thing about the AC8 is that it's, it's not too heavy so it's not going to crush the nerves in your shoulder and cause you back pain. I'm just going to show you the menu system in the AC8. Panasonic have a very user friendly menu and it's easy to use which is important especially if you've not used a Panasonic camera before. As soon as you get your camera the first thing to do is set up the record format. Now in this case it's got to be 1080-50p that will certainly give you the best quality. If you do SD footage then you're picking SA which is 576-50i. Next step is to format your SDXC card or your SDHC card. In this case I'm going to use card 2 and uh, it says do you want to format the card? Yes. And then it confirms that you definitely want to do it and you press yes again. Now formatting and then obviously it finishes and that's you sorted. If you're recording a special event like a wedding, you must use the dual record function. In other words, make yourself a backup. So go into two media function, choose backup, and that will allow you to record onto two cards at the one time. Before you do any sound recording, go to menu six of other functions, headphone mode, and change it from recording to live. So there we have it, that is the overview of the Panasonic AC8 Full HD camcorder and here are some of my thoughts. The first thing I like about the camera is the fact it's got a 21 times zoom. It can be really tight, getting some wonderful candid shots and then you've got this lovely 28mm which is a fantastic wide angle. The second thing is this also has a very good macro zoom which you can actually employ in the camera but I've discovered that it still gives you very good macro shots without even pressing the button. Wait and I'll show you. If you want some serious macro work, then under camera settings, choose telemacro and that is macro. It's been an interesting journey with the Panasonic AC8. It's actually fulfilled its potential. It's got a 21 times zoom, shoulder mount, which is not heavy at all, which I find a bonus. And it produces some lovely pictures, especially that 1080 50p. What more could you ask?